Hello friends, welcome to Shri Rams. The podcast topic for today is superconductivity at room temperature. Why are we talking about it? A team of physicists from South Korea have announced the creation of a new room temperature superconductor. The material, which is called LK99, is made up of a modified form of lead aptite. It has been shown to conduct electricity with zero resistance at temperatures of up to 150 degrees Celsius, which is well above the room temperature. LK99 ki discovery superconductivity ke field mein ek major breakthrough hai. What is a superconductor? Regular conductor like copper wires encounter resistance when electricity flows through them. This resistance leads to the loss of electrical energy such as heat. Superconductors on the other hand allow electricity to flow without any resistance meaning there's virtually no energy loss during power transmission. Can you explain the different temperatures? The temperature of a superconductor known as the critical temperature is typically below 10 Kelvin or minus 263 degrees Celsius. Room temperature is about 20 to 22 degrees Celsius. Superconductors at room temperature can cut the cost of electricity grids, computer chips, magnets for maglev trains, energy storage devices and fusion reactors by saving electricity and money on coolants. What has been the effort of scientists? Normally superconductors only work at very cold temperatures, but scientists have been working on finding room temperature superconductors. इससे बेटर और एफिशिएंट डिवाइसेस बना सकते हैं व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स इफ साइंटिस्ट सक्सीड इन फाइंडिंग अ सुपरकंडक्टर इट वुड हैव अ ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव इंप्लीकेशन सच एज फर्स्ट सेविंग्स दिस वुड रिजल्ट इन मच मोर एफिशिएंट एंड कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रिसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विद ग्रेटर प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड फाइनेंशियल सेविंग्स सेकंड एनहांस्ड पावर ट्रांसमिशन With superconductors, power lines could carry electricity over long distances with minimal loss, making it possible to transmit electricity more efficiently and economically across regions and even continents. Third, smaller and faster electronics. In the electronics industry, devices generate heat due to electrical resistance, limiting their performance and lifespan. Superconductors in electronic components would eliminate this heat dissipation issue allowing for smaller, faster and more powerful devices without worrying about overheating. Fourth, magnetic levitation. Superconductors have a fascinating property of expelling magnetic fields known as the Mesmer effect. This allows superconducting materials to levitate over magnets leading to potential applications like frictionless transportation systems fifth advanced scientific research superconductors are used in cutting edge scientific research such as powerful magnets for particle accelerators and mri machines the discovery of new superconducting materials could enable more powerful and efficient scientific instruments despite decades of research scientists have only found superconducting materials that work at extremely low temperatures often close to the absolute zero the challenge remains to discover superconductors that operate at higher more practical temperatures known as high temperature superconductors Finally could you please explain the difference between different kinds of conductors First normal conductors When electricity flows through a normal conductor the electrons collide with the other atoms and lose energy This is why electricity always get the object hot when it flows through a wire Second superconductors 
In a superconductor, the electronics are able to move past each other without running into anything. This is because the atoms in a superconductor are arranged in a very special ways that allows the electrons to flow freely. Third, room temperature superconductors. Room temperature superconductors are materials that can conduct electricity with zero resistance at room temperature. This means that they can conduct electricity without getting hot. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast.